The Epic of Gilgamesh The Epic of Gilgamesh is known as the first and oldest epic. It originated in Summer, or Babylonia. Who was Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh was a king of Uruk and discussed in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh was described as a demigod who lived for 126 years. Although Gilgamesh was the fifth king of Uruk, his divine abilities and strength sound more legendary and mythical. According to one Sumerian tale, Gilgamesh was the defender of Inanna, a goddess, when no one else heard her cries for help in the story Inanna and the Hulupu tree. Later, in the Epic of Gilgamesh, the gods state that he is too proud, thus they decide he must learn a lesson. They send a wild man to fight him. Interestingly, after the battle, neither lose nor win, and they instead become friends. After the death of his friend, Gilgamesh realizes the meaning of life. In his realization, he goes on about the truth of humility, and being faced with life and death after experiencing it firsthand, making it truly relatable epic for anybody who has ever had to stare death in the face or experienced the loss of someone near and dear. There is historical evidence proving the existence of Gilgamesh in his contribution to the construction of the walls of York. All other references were made by other figures of his generation. It was claimed in 2003 that the tomb of Gilgamesh had been uncovered by a team of archaeologists. Other than historical accounts and the epic itself, not much else is known of Gilgamesh. Regardless, according to the countless tales of his greatness, he was greatly admired by the Sumerian Babylonian people. Today there exist 12 preserved clay tablets with the most complete version of the epic. You decide, is it mythical or real?